right now on the 6 o'clock news. Remembering the life and legacy of iconic actor and New York City native James Kahn, who has passed away at the age of 82. How he's being remembered tonight. Plus, New York City accounting for nearly a quarter of all monkeypox cases nationwide. We're going to show you the steps being taken to get vital vaccines to high-risk New Yorkers. And she was the first person to receive a COVID-19 vaccine in the United States. And tonight, Sandra Lindsay is going to join us live just hours after receiving the Presidential Medal of Freedom. And good evening, I'm Lori Stokes. More on those stories in a moment. First, we're going to start with the city's efforts to crack down on gun violence. And today, the NYPD releasing its latest crime stats less than 24 hours after three people were fatally shot across the five boroughs. And while statistics show overall crime is up since June of last year, murders and shootings are both down. Well, one of the biggest issues facing the department, keeping people arrested behind bars. Morgan McKay is live outside one police plaza with more on today's crime stats. Morgan. Lori, NYPD officials saying they are rearresting people at an alarming rate. Around 80% of those arrested on gun charges are out on the streets today, which means around 20% remain incarcerated. It was a